So this is going to be a shitstorm of hate. <laughs> this list is loosely based on me, Spencer, Lemon, and Kyle. Not, no, I didn't take any of theirs into account because they only had five. Okay, so it's based on loosely it's all, it's nobodies. Based on, <laughs> it's based on three people, me, Cole, and Tanner. We're the only ones that played enough games in 2013 to have a decent list, I which will, is shit. I stick with Xbox and the Nintendo consoles. I, Spencer did roughly the same. I, I picked one 3DS game. And I think Tanner just was like, I'm going to be that one guy and pick <laughs> PS3 games. So all you PC gamers and all that, we have... N- took nothing into account that you did because we have i'm the only one with a computer that can play games and it doesn't play games well so we expect the hate and you know what it's gonna happen this is our list it's it's not even a list that we all agree with i think everyone all of us kind of think like okay so we did this mathematically but this list is shit so just bear bear with us and it's not gonna be good enjoy our top 10 yes our first top 10 10 Beyond Two Souls! A PS3 game, so I have no idea what any of it's game about. And I didn't really play it. So, Spencer, take it away since you watched it. <laughs> I-, I watched a movie on uh, YouTube. Okay, so basically, there's Aiden, this basically spiritual thing that's always been with the main character, Jody. Yeah. And they have adventures together, and it's randomly like backflashes and stuff. The gameplay sucks dick. Whoa. It's so bad. There's Whoa. no gameplay other than clicking A and doing some weird things with the analog sticks. Okay, but it made But the ten. story. <laughs> The story is what makes this game amazing. It was an amazing story. It's better than any fucking movie I've ever seen. I'd put it up there with fucking, like, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. And Garfield. Yes, and the Garfield movie. <laughs> number two, to be exact. So, basically, the only reason why this game is number ten, and not any higher, is the story. It was amazing. Because it's by PS3. It, it was by... I don't even know who the fuck made it. It was p- published by Sony. So, PS3, excuse me. But the story was the big part of this game. So, if you... Don't mind just playing a movie and doing nothing but minuscule thing. <laughs> Dude, they- <laughs> yeah, so it's like an RPG. It has a bunch of diverse shit. And they call it very little game. <laughs> Alright, anyways, th- this is our number 10. Don't hate us. You will. We know it. Nine! DMC comes in at number 9 on the list. It is an Xbox game. I don't know if it came it, out. It came out on, I think, PC and... PS3. Oh, look at that PC. We care about you. I, I think it was PC. It might not have been. I voted DMC. I never played DMC. I'm the only one that played DMC. These <laughs> lower ones are literally games that were just like, hey, these are the best games we've played. Well, I love this game. Game. <laughs> this game. This game, I know everybody hates the new Dante. I own all the Devil May Cries. They're all good. This Dante isn't the same, but he's still badass. The only Dante I Get like past that. is the soccer guy. I don't... That means nothing to me. Plays Byron or plays for Byron. Once again, it means nothing to me. This game but, is based on a guy. He kills things, and he's 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 half demon, half angel, and he's a complete badass. The music soundtrack is amazing. It's like techno, death metal ish type fucking epicness, and the controls and the combo system are just fucking brilliant. I love it. The, the reward of getting fucking S ranking combos is amazing. And all the different weapon combos. It's just. Okay. Cool. It's amazing. This list only gets better. <laughs> Trust me. Number eight! So, for our eighth place, we picked obviously one of the greatest games that came out for the Xbox. That none of us played! Other yeah, than Tenor! Then he's not here, so let's talk about it. It's Bioshock Infinite. What do we know about it? I know... There's a Skyhook. They changed the name of Salts they live to Vigors. in a mountain. Called Columbia. It's which, very, very... Which is weird. We live in Columbia. Yeah. British type. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just... It, it, it's supposed to be good. I yeah, own Bioshock 1 and 2, I just didn't have any money when this game came out, and never get all around to it, because I have way too many games. This is why this list is bad. We, like, I mean, we took a vote, and we don't even know what it is, and we make up half of the vote, so... Yeah. So, yeah. We make Bi- up two-thirds, and this made the list. So, Bioshock giving it, yeah, great game. Woo! Yeah, Fucking book or do it. Seven. Yeah. That's all I needed to hear. Alright, coming in number 7 is Metal Gear Rising. It is another Xbox game. I don't know if it's PC It's or... PC and PS3. Alright, there P- you go, It just PC. got released on PC in like the last month. Well, oh, that still counts. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, PC. We love you. Yeah, um, you know. What? And so weird. Fourth Street game I have not played. I have played this one. This is why this is in there. So, if you're expecting Metal Gear uh, Story, like Metal Gear Solid Storyline, or anything good for story, 
It's pretty shit. It's not that good. There's like some child slavery and then some cool boss battles. Basically, this game excels in the amount of combat it has and how fluid it is. It is one of the best hack and slash games I've ever played, and you can literally cut wherever you want to. If you wanted to cut a dude from fucking back of the neck to tanks, you could do it. Life. I know. That's why I said it. Oh. Yeah. Just so you guys I know, know you so it, well. This guy is not a Metal Gear. He is a regular robot. He's not a robot, he's a cyborg. He got really fucked up. Oh, sorry. But basically, you're just a badass ninja that goes around and fucking shit up and just kind of destroys shit. It's amazing. It and sounds you can... pretty horrible, but it's number seven, so... It, 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 the gameplay is what makes this game good. Number six. Sex. Oh my god, it's another PS3 exclusive. The it... Last of Us! Despite the fact I hate basically everything about PS3, I heard this game was insanely incredible, story-wise. I heard that the gameplay wasn't terrible, and it always made you feel like you were in danger, though. Once again, I haven't played this either, because nothing against PS3, personally, for me. I hate you. Just, Xbox has better achievements, and gives me more of a it's... fucking feel of accomplishment. Yeah, he cops a feel. I copy feel of a lot of things. Cats. Yep, I love copy feels of cats. So anyways, back to the list. Another farm animals. Of cats, not <laughs> <laughs> uh. My favorite type is the ones that I can punt. Okay. Uh. Uh, basically, we don't know much about this game. The story was good. I watched another movie. It, it was good. It has a good story and better gameplay than Beyond Two Souls. That's why it's number six. It made number six on the list with only one PS3 player. Yeah. Give it some credit. That's what we're doing. Not well, though. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I gotta talk about a game I've actually played and voted, I think, second on my list. Most underrated game, probably. I hope that we can play it later tonight. Xbox uh, arcade game. It's Battle Block Theater. It's basically... You're kill your friends! Yeah, it's basically kill your friends. I mean, you start at one point, you get gems. Half the time, you kill your friend. It's a great game, you know? I mean... Very simple. It doesn't really have any depth. It's probably the funniest game that you can play. I would definitely recommend it to people that hate their friends. So, Spencer. Yep, I hate all my friends. I That's know. why I call them friends. <laughs> That's what friends mean. <laughs> yeah! So definitely a great game. If you have an Xbox, I would recommend picking it up on the arcade. I don't know how much it is. I don't really care. It's probably like 20 bucks. But I would definitely recommend and it. And also by Castle Crashers, made by the same guys. Team Behemoth. Yeah! Yeah! Four. Okay, so before we get into the whole, it came out a couple years ago. No, it came out 2013 on the Xbox. It's Terraria. I don't know what year it came out on the PC. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, guess around 2011. I'm gonna guess whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It came out 2013 on Xbox, so you can do whatever you want about it. You can, you, you know, can. fist yourself. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, go go for it. Send a video. That'd be pretty impressive. <laughs> 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 Maybe not. That's actually kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Taria is one of the first game. I got it the day it came out, and it was ridiculously fun. I got it like three months later and started playing it. It's like Minecraft, except, you know, 3D. Or it's not, 2D. 2D. It's, it's not 3D. It's 2D. It's 2D. And it has so much more shit. And you can, it's... Like, it's, it's much, like, it's not as, like, it, like expansive, but it's much more in-depth. Like, it, it has a lot more shit there's, you can do. There's so many, I wouldn't really say customizations, but, I mean, you can, you can create weapons. You can lightsaber. You can Oh, right, you can. Okay, so you can, you know, weapons, you can go, I mean, you, I'd imagine there's mods. Oh, not on Xbox, but... Oh, yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, like, this game basically took Minecraft, made it simpler, and then expanded on it in ways Minecraft never could. Like, you know how in Minecraft you have, like, swords with enchantments? Now imagine having a harpoon and a fucking... Fucking ball and chain with spikes on it that it fucking extends. It looks like extends. you're jacking something off. What are you doing? What kind of stance is that? <laughs> yes, you know, you, just, just like you jack. The, you, you, you grab it from the side and you twerk it in a clockwise motion. You, you don't go back and forth. You just fucking rip on it. Cole. Okay, so do I, do I, <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell us to do stuff at 12 in the morning. <laughs> Terraria is number four. Yes. 2013. Not the computer version. <laughs> Fuck. Number three. <laughs> Pokemon X and Y. Wow, how great is that? We're not in grade one. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So anyways, um, I got Pokemon X, Spencer got Pokemon Y, so this is the actually... The day it came out, right? The day it came out, I picked it up, which was, you know, I was kind of one of those people that wasn't big on the whole Pokemon thing, and then I played it, and I was like, wow, like, I missed... You know, this is my childhood I'm playing, and they've expanded it and fucked it up, but that's not the point. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm the way that I've never really let go of Pokemon. I've always been playing it. Like... I, I don't know. I've always tried to play Pokemon game. It's just one of those games that I can always come back to. I think I started on the Game Boy Advance, and then I was like, and I stopped, and then, you know, the DS came out, and the DSi, and whatever, and then the 3DS came out, and then Pokemon X and Y came out. And I was like, this will be a great time to uh, pick it up again. The graphics are unbelievable. I can't believe the battle animations. Like, compared to, like, the little lines that go across the screen to now full 3D fucking... It's... Like mind sex or it visual. is, and it's, you can put it in three D mode, and it actually is depth. And they added a feature onto the game, the Mega Evolutions, which in first in retrospect, it, it seemed like a horrible idea. Like Charizard yeah, having yeah. evolution, yeah, but most badass. It's so cool. I love how it changes the type. Like oh, it's it can, great. It can completely turn things around. It was a risk, in my opinion, that turned. It, it turned to good, the best. but a lot of people still hate it and say it's Digimon. But it's it, it kind of is. But it's better, because Digimon kind of sucked dick. It is up there for the top Pokemon games that have come out, period. It, it, it is amazing. I still play it quite often. I One of the things I really love about it is the Wonder Trade. Oh, you can trade a r random for a random. It's... Yeah, and I've gotten so many of the original starters. I have the original three starters. I have not. I can give you some. But, okay. like, also, Pokeross? I fucking got that through that. I have Pokeross, man. Anybody who knows what that is... Yeah, good for I'm you. Fucking happy. But anyways, Pokemon X and Y. Also, Team Flare is kind of gay. Well, sorry, they were pretty bad. And one other gripe with the game, though, which is just you've been able to walk in eight directions since oh, yeah, Pokemon yeah. XD. Oh, or in Colosseum, you've been able to walk in three-dimensional ways. Crazy. I know people have been freaking out about that. I know those. Some people don't think those are screw it. It's not a top good. ten topic. Later, this game's oh. amazing. Buy it. Buy a 3DS. It makes it worth it. It makes it work too. Yay! All right, here we go. This is the one that's gonna cause the most hate, cause all you haters are gonna hate. Is it GTA? Saints Row Four. <laughs> Let's just agree Fuck. here. Saints Row Four does not even. It sh how it I, came second. The, the reason, math. The reason it came second is because everyone voted for it so lowly. Yeah, like, every, for everybody's list, it was like five or six, but it still got on the list. So every it time. got the votes. So it got. It got the it got the points, and honestly, I've only, like without counting DLC, I've always completed this game. I have two achievements left. I loved it, but a lot of people don't. I, I liked being a superhero. I did vote awesome. for the game. I liked Saints Row Three a lot. I was one of the biggest fans of Saints Row Three. I thought it was great. Saints Row Four came out. It's... See, I was the opposite. I love Saints Row Four more than Saints Row Three. I, it's an okay game. It's about the same thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. All the things are. It's Saints Row. How do you yeah. describe it? It's Saints Row. Yeah. Um, it was a good game. It wasn't a great game. It doesn't deserve to be second. But, but it was by... able to spread out through our group enough that it got the but points. But by our vote, you know, it was a good game, and it deserves to be on a top ten, just not this high up. And we all agree on that, but I'm not going to change the math, because fuck it. Yeah. Number one. One, yeah. The best game I've played this year, by far was an iOS and Android game. How this made the list, I don't even know. It was the best. Everybody voted for it. I did not vote for it. Just because you're on crack. But Sonic Dash. For the iPad. Yeah. iPhone or Android. It was so fucking good. Like, it's like the classic Sonic that everybody fucking hated. No, the real number one is Payday 2, fuckers. Payday 2 is obviously the greatest game that has came out in 2013. It, I think, ranked top three in everyone's vote. It came first for me. I think it came second for me. Payday, Actually, it, it was so good. The how, multiplayer was tight. I don't understand. It's bank robbing. It's so simple. It seems like it's repetitive. It's not. There's so many different possibilities. It's intense. It's it, it, it takes communication. It, it like everything that we lost in multiplayer games with like the whole Call of Duty thing. It brought it back. Even though we were in different rooms across fucking Canada, really, we were fucking all together. It seemed like. In a big mission where we're all working together as a unit. You don't get that. It brung back good memories and just playing games with friends in an amazing multiplayer experience. It is honestly, in my opinion, all I've played a lot of multiplayer games. I think Payday 2 is probably one of the funnest multiplayer games to play. 
it's just everyone ha you rely on your teammates so much it's just it's all there everything works perfectly there's it's, an rpg ranking system i love that i love rpg elements it's, it's great it's got the leveling up system it's got different classes it's got different guns it's got customization every time masks. You, it's amazing because every time you beat a level you get a new thing you can use guaranteed you got either a new customization a new color money it doesn't matter yeah, you, you get it, something you, it rewards you, to, you yes and so like you can do like the little missions and get like a bunch of little bitch money and like you like the 45 second thing but then there's those ones that take like hours of time and, and commitment like uh, you have to sit down and you have to be like wow we are gonna do this we are gonna rob this fucking bank and then transport it here and then like it's just so much fun it works it works so well it's amazing I, and uh, it, it was it was so good it was so fucking good I don't even know what to say, like, it was so good. It was, hands down. It had, it even had humor in this game with, like, barely any dialogue. Yeah, how do you have humor in a game about bank robbing? I mean, they nailed it. Yeah. Like, the, the only, it's like, is there any, like, in-game dialogue between characters? No. Like, there's some, like, weird yelling every once in a while. Yeah, they yell but, each other's names, but that's about it. But. Yeah, like, there's humor, and it's, it's good. Anybody who has any system that it's on... Buy that shit and fucking donate money to the guys who made it. Or us. Yeah, or us. We'll definitely take money. And we'll maybe we'll buy new equipment and do a lot of play of it. But it, it's just our number one. So, yeah. Everybody played it. Everybody loved it. We got everyone behind it. So there you go. There's That's the shittiest list ever. Except for Payday. Except for I number one. Number one, number one I agree with. It didn't make other people's list. I don't care. Fuck you guys. Number one yeah. is Payday. This so. is our fucking list. So, Super Saints Row. Fuck yes. that shit. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely gonna try and put more videos out constantly yeah i've been trying i fuck man i did nothing over break but uh i love you love you a long time and also our next top 10 is going to be 360 games because the xbox one came out two months ago but we're doing it now because we decided that this would be a good idea yeah. so look out for that it'll be probably out in half a year angry birds trilogy <laughs> yeah definitely definitely top five so yeah, that'll come out hopefully within the next month. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Yep, see you later.